which cheated on me, so I paid for her dog food. In the summer after my freshman year of college, I met this girl, 25, who was older than me, 19, but she and I had a lot of mutual interests, especially the games we played, so we started talking. She always seemed like the hard exterior type, and I assumed that she had no interest in me. But then we started talking more and more, and I realized she was definitely attracted to me. She told me about her divorce, how he beat her and cheated on her, and my heart just melted. She was such a good person, and no one deserves that kind of treatment. Even after this whole ordeal, I still would never wish that upon her, because that's ducking demoralizing and awful. We started to get closer as we talked about our pasts, our interests, etc. We connected a lot. It had been six months since the divorce and she was just starting to feel good again. And knowing that I was a part of that made me happy to help her. Soon enough, we realized we had true feelings for each other, and wanted to pursue something more than just friendship. So, we did. Now, here's one thing that I'm going to be honest about. This was my first serious relationship. In my past, I had been with girls, and only said yes to the BF slash GF label because they wanted to. I was just looking for some fun, but I was fine with moving forward if it meant that we could still have fun. Ironically, I'd actually start to get feelings, and then the relationship would wind up ending. So, naturally, I had my walls up, and decided to just start playing it safe. And then I met this girl. For once, it didn't start physical, it started emotional. I was getting feelings, and then I started getting physical. It felt like things were going right. Hell. Ducking. No. Let's call this girl Witch. So, Witch and I started off amazingly well. We'd have phone convos at night that ended with us falling asleep together, we'd have Skype dates, and we'd game together. It was getting awesome, and I felt so close to her. But now here's where I should mention one thing, we never made our relationship public. She wanted to keep it low-key, since she was still getting over her divorce. Well after the breakup, I realized that she was ashamed of me, and I'm guessing it had to do with the age difference. The funny thing is, she and I talked about meeting each other's parents a lot, and how it would be awesome for each of us, given our personalities. She meant so much to me, and I would talk her through all the panic attacks she'd have, and try to be the best guy to her. I ducked up in my previous relationships, but this time, I refused. I wanted to be the good guy. The sweet guy. The great boyfriend. Hell, I remember one time she posted one of those pictures with a quote a good guy wakes you up at 3 a.m. to tell you he loves you and have the he loves you crossed out and above it saying with cookies and ice cream. So, for our three month anniversary, I sent her a box of Oreo cookies and a gift card to Cold Stone, and she was so happy and whatnot about it. Okay, enough of this sappy poop. It's time to get to the bad parts. First of all, around five months into the relationship, she just stopped talking to me. I got really confused but assumed that she needed her space. I would still reach out every now and then. Then, on Thanksgiving, she tells me that she was relapsing with memories from her ex-husband, and I understood and told her that we'd take a break. The day after New Year's, she called me crying, saying how she wanted me in her life, and how she loves me, so naturally, I felt great again and said yes. One to two months into this new relationship, and I started realizing that one of the guys that used to game with us, we played GW, GW2, wow etc., for proper context, would always be extra raunchy with her. And she would giggle about it and be the same way back. Naturally, I wouldn't say hey, duck off talking to my girl like that, because we still hadn't made our relationship public yet. I would talk to her about it in private, and she told me that he was just like a brother to her and that's all. I had some apprehension because I've been in ducked up situations in my past with cheating, but I trusted her. So, I'd tolerate everything that happened, and just took it on the chin. Another three months later, she broke up with me. I was planning on studying abroad at that point, so her breaking up with me definitely set me off on a duck this poop note, and I left for London with a downtrodden state of mind. I hated the world, and didn't give a poop about anyone. Once I started deciding to work out, I made friends with other guys who made it their summer goal to help me through this by showing me the proper techniques for the exercises I was doing, and even helped me gain my confidence back through this. I started meeting girls even had some fun throughout this, and things were going well. I was finally starting to wake up in the mornings in a neutral state, rather than duck the world, but then, I found out. Turns out that witch ducked that brother friend of hers and less than a week after I left, he actually drove down to where she lived to spend quite a lot of time with her. I hear from him directly how this had been going on for quite some time, and that he was having a great time with her, he saw me as a friend, and had no idea of my relationship with witch. I hope, so now. 
I was back to duck everything. My friends at the gym still helped me, but this time, I was lost. I was empty. I was worthless. I thought that I was never meant to have a serious relationship. I thought this was all for nothing. And then, I get a call closer to the end of the summer. I had been working while studying abroad, and had been making quite a bit of money doing it. It was helping me to know that while learning a lot, I was saving a lot too. I had talked to her well before our breakup, when we were talking about the possibility of moving in, and I said how I'd wanted to save up during the summer anyways, so at least it's for something meaningful. She was living with a relative, so she was excited at the thought of us living together. So, this call was from her, telling me how her house wound up getting burned down from some electrical issue, I think I loose wire or something? And she was upset and didn't know what to do. She even told me how her dog was peacefully deleted, that dog was adorable and amazing, I actually felt bad for her because she was a good girl. I was just shocked. I wanted to feel terrible for her, but I was just. Not. The caring part of me wanted to help her. But after all of this crap, with her cheating and talking to this guy while taking gifts from me, and ignoring me, oh, one thing I should mention. My grandfather was peacefully deleted during our relationship, and she didn't really console me. Like, all she did was tell me how it was much worse for her when her grandfather was peacefully deleted and start crying and get me to console her, whenever I truly needed her, and oh, she never ducking told any of her friends or family about me, I just couldn't bring myself to care. I wanted to show that I was truly ducking done with her, and that after all that she's done to me, she doesn't deserve any of my love and caring. She asked me if I could help in any way to send money to her in order to help her out. When I told her, I'd think about it, she said that if possible, a check would be best and that she'd really appreciate it. That's when I realized what I could do. I wanted to be slightly subtle, vindictive, and spiteful all at the same time. While I definitely loved her dog, I know that witch loved her dog so much more. So, I asked her for her address, and told her I'd send a check. She said thank you, and then said she had to go and hung up. Yes, exactly like that. She didn't even say bye, she literally said I have to go now, thank you and hung the duck up. So, I sent her a huge package of dog food with an attached note saying I'm sorry for your loss. I blocked her on my phone, Facebook, and Steam after that. DL, Dr. Witch cheated on me for the majority of our relationship tried to get me to help pay for her burned down home well after breaking up with me and me finding out about the cheating, so I bought her food for the charred remains of her dead dog. Hi guys, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Damn that's cold. Honestly, with the emotional turmoil she put me through paired with my young immature mindset, I went through with this action. Would I ever do it again? No. I'm at a much better stage in my life now, have emotionally strengthened myself as a person, and have definitely learned to keep myself professional and proper throughout rough situations, no matter how much the rage. That is evil and terrible and I'm proud of you. I like to think those days are behind me, but I tend to surprise myself, so we'll see. And besides, there are, unfortunately, plenty more assholes and witches in the world. Thanks a bunch. I did not expect that ending. I also really enjoyed that ending. Great storytelling by the way. Thank you very much. My original draft was twice the length but I realized I was witching too much about the poopy relationship, so I had to trim that fat. Because naturally, we all care about the revenge. Respect. Revenge is a dish best served cold and you delivered the ice. Oh honey. Don't you realize she was scamming you the whole time? You should have roasted that witch on the card with the dog food. That awkward moment when you read this and realize that something similar happened to you. Now I understand.